My name is Brian Nato, the Deputy Commissioner for the Baltimore Police Department in charge of the Public Integrity Bureau. What I'm going to be walking you through this afternoon is a police-involved shooting which takes place on April 25th at 4.51 p.m. in the afternoon at the 3900 block of Erdman Avenue in Baltimore. You're going to see three videos. The first video you're going to see is from a Save-A-Lot, which is at the shopping center across the street. As you see this video, you'll see an individual who's circled in red walking towards 3916 Erdman Avenue. That individual goes on to the walkway and has some sort of a discussion with the individuals there. At this time, there are two police officers, Alexa Davis and Lamal Wilson, who are to the left out of view of this camera that are at a food truck in the parking lot. They hear some type of commotion take place, which directs their attention to that area. After the discussion takes place at 3916, you'll see the one individual leaving, walking southbound on Urban Avenue. And then right after, you'll see another individual sort of going in, in his, the same direction as him. That individual makes it halfway across the street, turns around and goes back towards 3916 Urban Avenue. The police officers will come from the left side of the camera angle here and you'll see the individuals go inside the residence. Now we'll go to Officer Davis's body-worn camera video. Our video has a 30 second buffer, so you don't hear audio from the beginning, but you see the officer going across Urban Avenue towards 3916 Urban Avenue. Shots are fired from her weapon. At this time, you see the individual who had the gun in his possession throwing the gun into the air. and all three individuals flee inside 3916. Officer Davis and Officer Wilson then cross 3900 block of Urban Avenue, take cover behind a vehicle, and begin to give uh, commands to the individuals at that location. You will hear her audio come on because of the 30 second buffer, and later you will hear Officer Wilson's audio come on. You good? It's one more. It's one more in the house. Do not move, I swear to God! <laughs> what address is that? We need units, 3916 Ermin. 3916 Ermin. You saw me do with the gun? I don't know. There you go, we're coming up. There you go, you got Officer Davis is also having discussion with other residents who live in the same apartment complex further down behind her at this point. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. I have to go. There's two in the house, yo. There's two in the house. He pointed a gun at a boy and went back in the house. I fired, I fired one. We fired. Where are you? They went in the house. They went in the house. He had a gun. Okay, his backup arrives. The officers are going to approach the residence and we will switch to Officer Wilson's body-worn camera. His body-worn camera audio will come on after a 30-second buffer. Both officers and backup approach 3916, where the owner has sent the individuals back outside, and the individual that was shot, who is a juvenile, is now laying on the front stoop. Okay, medical attention is called, and they render aid to him. What is shown here is the Smith & Wesson MP40, which is a BB gun, which is the weapon that was tossed in the air and later recovered by the police department.